Hi guys, Shelly here. Um, I'm just going to do a quick haul. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, so we went out shopping afterwards a little bit and hit a few places. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I went to a Big Lots today that I've never been to. And when I got there, I was just walking through and they didn't really have too much stuff that I thought that I would use and everything. And then all of a sudden, I see this huge stack of thickers. There was probably 50 or 60 packages of thickers. So I got two of like each one that they had, you know, because you can never have too many thickers. And that way I won't run out of the ease or whatever. So I'll show you those first. Um, these are black with like a white zigzag pattern. I don't know if you could see it because of the glare, but they are really, really cute and stuff. And I think um, this says it, it's the regards. So, and then this one is Elf, and it's like white with black polka dots. I don't know if you could see the polka dots, but they're teeny tiny and they're really cute and then this one is also the regards but it's um, yellow with orange zigzag lines like a crisscross pattern and they were all one dollar so that's why I got so many, otherwise I definitely wouldn't have got this many. And then this one is Meadow, and it's just chipboard, and it's black with white, like, outline. And then I also got, this one is also Elf, but it's in the green plaid. I love these because I think they would be really cute, like, on a really country Fish layout or in a mini album and stuff and I love the Miss Caroline collection from my mind's eye and I think those might go perfect with it and then this one is emerald and these are just foam and uh, they're black I think they're foam they might be flocked actually I think they are black like flocked ones and I like these because they're a little smaller than all the other phones that they had so I picked up um, either two or three of these. And then these are a little weird, but I thought I would use these in like a day book or something because they're, I don't think I have like a collection of paper or anything like that that they would really match. And these are called Cheer, and they're glittered in like an aqua blue and like an aqua sea foamy green color. They're really cute. And then these are also glittered, and they're the cheer, but they are like a maroon, maroonish brown color and like fuchsia glitter. They're really cute too. And then also I got the same ones in like orange and yellow glitter. And these are really cool. They're super bright. So, I love those. And then, I wish they had more of these. They're, like, flocked and sparkly. Um, they're called Hocus Pocus, and they're white. But they're, like, really soft. And I, I really liked these, but they only had one package left of these. So, they're hard to see because of the glare. So, i got to get really close. Okay. So that's, I got like two packages of each one of those. So I ended up with like 16 or 18 packs of stickers for a dollar a piece, except for the last one, the Hocus Pocus, it was $2. So those were really cute. And then that's all I got at Big Lots. And then I went to Marshall's because I've never been to a Marshall's uh, before. We, I don't have one anywhere close. Like my doctor's office is two hours from here. So I thought I'm up here. I might as well go. And they had 
Martha Stewart punches. So I got the um, spiderweb one, and it was only four dollars, three ninety nine. Okay. And I also got, I have the other Martha Stewart washi tape that's Halloween, that's like the dark purple and green, and it's like really ornate black um, design on it. And then I saw this one at Marshall's, and I saw um, like an OMG, it's Emily, her video where she got this, and I saw this somewhere else, and they wanted like $10 for it. So I got this for a dollar fifty at Marshall's so that's awesome and then I was running out of um, twine and while we were there they had this pack of twine for ten dollars so I decided to get it since it has two spools of each color so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve colors in here so I hope that will probably last me a while because I don't have quite a few of these colors and stuff. I mostly just have the brown and white with the black and white. And I think I might have, like, red and white maybe. Oh, and also aqua. But that's it. And then, okay, so that was it for Marshalls. And then, um, oh, like... Last week sometime I went to the TJ Maxx that's really close to my house, well, like 30 minutes away, and I ended up getting these um, Martha Stewart Crafts Adhesive Die Cuts. They're all, like, acetate. Here, I'll take some out of the package for you guys. Um, there's, like, this one that says Boo, and then these little trick-or-treat bats. And these green spiders, which totally creep me out. And then, I like this. It just says, eek. It's super cute. And then, some happy Halloween. Um, warning. And then, a bunch of pumpkins. And this goes with one of her paper lines that came out this year. But, I didn't get that paper line. I almost bought it today. But, after looking through it a couple of times, I kept picking it up and sitting it down and picking it up and sitting it down. And it just wasn't really, like, floating my boat. But I could use a lot of these die cuts on cards and stuff. Like, I know a couple of people who have Halloween birthdays, so it would be cute to make them, like, a Halloween card with these cupcake ones, you know, and, like, a jack-o'-lantern. It looks like a clown, pretty much, so it could be, like, a birthday clown instead. And then there's, like, oh, here, like, little jack-o'-lantern balloons and a couple more different jack-o'-lanterns and candy and then um, some more different jack-o'-lanterns and then two cat's heads. And stuff. So there's quite a few in there and stuff. So I thought that was a good deal because it was only a dollar fifty two. So I'll put that back in the package later. And then they had this um, K and Company mat stack, and I could make just like a simple little mini album with this. But they are double sided, so that's cool. And here I'll do it this way too. I like that one because it's, it's like weird. It messes with your eyes in person. Oh. Candy corn. That one's really cute. Like a little pumpkin patch. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for that. And then I also picked up um, this. Uh, Fisker's Simple Stick Vintage Christmas um, Stamps. I make Christmas cards every year, so I thought this would be cute for, like, sentiments inside. Or I like to stamp, you know, like a wreath above the words that 
are the sentiments dyed and stuff like that. So it's pretty cute. And I love this little uh, ho 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 right here. It's super cute. And um, oh, and I also found one of these um, District Market Tim Holtz like matchbook books. It was only seventy cents. So I thought I'll get one and maybe I'll just use it to you know like keep notes about projects and ideas that I have because that always happens to me. I have a good idea and then whenever I get started I'm like what was I gonna do again so you know how that is okay and then we went to Joann's because I had some coupons and stuff and um, they were having a sale on a few things that it, you know I thought I could pick up so I decided to go in there and it was one that was built brand new just like this past year so I thought I'd go in there and check it out and I've been trying to complete my collection of um, distress inks, and I refuse to pay more than $2.99 for any distress ink pads and stuff. Like, five bucks is just too much. And um, the only one they had that I don't have was the Crushed Olive, so I picked that up and everything. Um, it was 30% off, plus I had a 20% off my total purchase coupon, so it ended up being $2.50. And then I picked up the washi tape from Smash. Which one is this? Um, the calendar, like Kane Company one. Like, here, let me take it off of here. Well, I don't think I can get it off right now, but I'll still... Um, peel it open for you. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's like all of this. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Smash on. This was the day. I like this one with the, like, tabs. You know, it says, like, when, where, who, what. And then this one. It's cute. There's a ton on here. Like, the next one has a clock on it. You know. There's a lot. And I smash book quite a bit. And stuff. It's just faster and easier for me. And stuff. Because I don't have time to, like, sit for hours, really. Unless it's, like, a gift for somebody. So, you know. Quick and easy is for me. And then um, the EK Success Tools were 50% uh, off today, the Halloween ones anyway. So um, which one, let me see. Uh, this is the Bat Flourish. Let me see if I have it the right. Yeah. See, it's pretty cool and ornate. So I decided to get that one. They didn't have, they had one that said Boo, you know, like twice in a row and ones that were pumpkins, but I already have, a, like, a pumpkin patch one from Martha Stewart, so I didn't get that one. And then their Melody Ross stuff was on clearance, and I have, like, everything for this collection except these paper clips, and I'm going to make my own, like, day book with this because I like to journal sometimes, and... Oops, sorry. These all have, like, inspirational messages on them pretty much like happy this is me goals sparkle life unique um my story and i love that they're vintagey but still like bright colors and then um you know the miss caroline collection from my mind's eye is my favorite right now and it's really like countryfied and stuff and i have a cricket imagine and i haven't been using it that much lately which is kind of disappointing because you know, I paid pretty big bucks for it from, like, HSN. So, um, I end up getting this country carnival today and stuff because I made a layout for Scrapology's giveaway, and I really wanted to do these letterings on it, but I couldn't because I didn't have this cartridge. And so I decided to get this because I think... With the Miss Caroline collection, I'll 
be using this a lot. And so I don't think I've bought a Cricut cartridge in almost a year, maybe a year and a half and stuff. So that's not good. And then let's see here. I also got a few things from, sorry guys, I have to move my computer because everything's on the floor. I'm on my couch today instead of in my crafting area because it is a disaster. So now I'm making the rest of my house a disaster. That's probably not a good idea. But anyway, um, we went to Hobby Lobby and I went there to get watercolor palette and stuff. And um, I had one of these already and I really like it. It has 36 colors and that's plenty for me for my day book. So I got this one and it's only six bucks. So that's pretty good. And then I had a um, coupon for 40% off. And I was really needing some numbers like stamps. So I got this Seven Gypsies one. Um, it's called Numero. Um, clear stamps. And there's tons and tons of different numbers on it. And it was eleven ninety nine, but I had a forty percent off coupon. So I decided to get this one because I mean it has tons of options and stuff and they're all I mean there's different fonts. There's oh there's ones like in a line so I can make a list. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. And then there's um the word like percentile, projected growth, priceless, sale price, cheap, I mean all kinds of stuff. There's even like a barcode, which is kind of neat. So end up picking that one up. And then let's see here. I also their Halloween stuff. All Halloween is forty percent off right now. So I got these little word bubbles to say boo and spooky and all kinds of things like that. I thought that would be cute in a mini album. And then I also, on clearance, was the Sizzix embossing folder. Here, in the back. It's closer. You can kind of see the designs. And stuff, and um, it was $4, but then it ended up ringing up for like $2.50. You know, and which is weird because, I mean, the tag's right here, but I don't know. It's strange. Maybe there was, like, a clearance on clearance or something that day, and I didn't realize it. And then I also got this um, Sizzix die. It's seven, 720, and it's the flower 3D wrapped one. Um I decided to get this because I've been trying to make flowers out of, like, dryer sheets and dyeing them and stuff. But it's really hard to, like, cut a flower out with scissors with those dryer sheets. They just seem to um, tear really easily. So maybe this will help or work. I mean, if not, I could still make flowers, you know, with other stuff with it. But. And then um, their spare parts were 50% off. So I just got a couple of things. I thought I could use this in that mini album that I'd been working on forever. I thought that might be cute, like a little lock and key thing. And then I love these metal flowers. Um, I put them on almost every card that I make. So I got a couple of those just because I use them so much. And then I also got this little Merry Christmas stamp. It's cute. I thought it'd be good, just like a simple sentiment in a card, you know, with somebody that I don't normally talk to that often or something. And then I got uh, these stamps. I thought these would be really good for, like, Halloween cards, the Bootastic and stuff. And come if you dare. Like, if I had a Halloween party, I could make invitations and stuff. October 31st and have a screen. So I thought those were really cute. And they were also 40% off. So 40% off five ninety nine. You guys can do the math. Yeah. And then uh, the thickers were also either 40 or 50% off. So 
uh, let's see here, which one is this? Sorry, guys, the sticker is over it. This is, um, uh, they're called Sunny, and, uh, the white foam sparkly ones. I thought these would be great for, like, Christmas and stuff, so, because, um, I don't like, well, I like it, but, um, like traditional Christmas colors, you know, red and green and all that stuff, um, I like those, but I really like, like, the icy blues and whites and silvers and stuff for Christmas, um, that's usually what I, how I decorate my house and stuff, and then these are, like, silver chipboard, like silver foil, um, they're called hardcover, they're really cute, and they're a little bit smaller, too, than the other thickers that I have, so I thought I would pick those up today, too, and then, um, I had been, lots of people around here, um, are veterans, and they have scrapbooks from whenever they were in the service in, like, Vietnam, and things like that, and I kind of, like, refurbish their scrapbooks and stuff, you know, like, fix their binding and things like that from where, you know, because their pages are almost turned to dust practically by now, and um, I'm working on one right now, and I needed some kind of vintage -y looking, um, like, patriotic paper, and I've been looking everywhere. And I can't find any except for, I think, I want to say it's My Mind's Eye, like, Glory or something like that. And I think you only get, like, 12 pages of paper and stuff, and it's, like, 8 bucks or something like that. And, you know, like, that's just too much for, I mean, I do it for free. So, I picked up some papers today that I thought would work in one that I'm working on right now, and they were 50% off the single sheets paper, so I got this one that's like maroon with um, little tiny stars, and then this one I thought I could cut up for borders and things like that, and I... I'll age them more so, you know, they look authentic in the album and stuff. And then I got this one. It's like Americana color stripes. And then I, uh, I got this one. It's also like a navy blue and Americana, like beigey stars. And I got a few sheets of that. And then I got this one, which is like the stars outlined. They're not filled in. And it's that same maroon color from the first sheet. And then I also got this one with all the flags because I can cut them all out separately for embellishments and, you know, co cover them with, like, glossy accents and things like that to make embellishments out of them. So I got that for that album today. My dog is really upset with me right now, guys. She sleeps on my couch all day and all night whenever I get home, and she just keeps looking at me like, are you ever going to be done so I can finish sleeping? See, here she is. She's just all curled up. She's pathetic. She's mommy's girl, though. She's got to be right next to me all the time. And then... Okay, last but not least, um, I made an order from Two Peas, and, um, let's see here, uh, let's see here, yeah, most of it was, like, clearance items and stuff, so, a few things weren't clearance, but I ended up getting this washi tape, because now I am addicted, and stuff, and I started working in my Amy Tangerine books, so I gotta have washi tape for that, and I thought the black and white chevron was, you know, good for that, and it, I think it's only like 220 or 240 or something like that, and then I got this, um, Mr. Huey's mask, which everybody has seen, and I would like to, you know, 
check it out and do some watercolor with it and spray with my mist and stuff. And then I got this Emmy Tangerine fabric paper and stuff. It's hard to see because of the glare. Sorry, guys. My lighting is terrible this evening. But I plan on, see how it's different colors? I'm going to cut out this strip and cut out this strip and cut out this strip and probably this one and then the the uh, flower and stuff right here and put it put it all on different layouts and stuff because I do have a couple of her um, paper pads collections and then obviously you guys know my boyfriend is obsessed with football so I've put these in my cart like a million times and just never gotten them, taken them out and stuff because I, I wasn't sure like their size and all that stuff. But they're canvas colorables and there's different football ones. There's this one, which is cute. And also this one. And I thought it would be cool because he likes the Colts and the Steelers. So I'll do one in each color and like put it on the layout or something or like the front of a um album or something like that. And then I got some alphas and um everybody's been getting this uh the October afternoon alphas um the pumpkin color and I really really like this color in person. It is actually really pretty. And I think it would really go with any, you know, um, like Halloween or fall line, really. The orange is gorgeous. And then I picked up these t teeny alphas from um, Glitz Designs. And they're, like, teal, but they look like jean. Like, let me open them so you can see them without the glare. Um, come on. Oh, it's not quite open the way. There we go. Um, they kind of look like jean print, and they have red text on them, and they're actually really, really cute in person. I was a little iffy about it, like the color, whenever I saw it online, but in person, it really looks like jeans and stuff, so I thought those would be really cute. And then they had a bunch of Prima flowers on clearance, so I got a ton of them. I got these, which I love, and then I got like one of every color of these, I love this like aqua color, it's really pretty, I think it's called like teal ice or something like that, yeah teal ice, it's really pretty. And then um, this one is the Morel Lilac color. It's like purpley. And then, oh, there's more. Um, I got these. These are the um, Sassy in Butternut, which is actually really pretty. I usually don't buy like the neutral colors that often. I mean, I love the rainbow of colors, the rainbow effect. I got in trouble in kindergarten for coloring with every single one of my crayons on every single assignment we ever had. So that's just me. Oh, and these are the Cascade in Autumn. They are really, really pretty in person. And then I also got uh, these. They are the Hermosa in Blueberry. I have these in like red and I think purple as well already, but I really like those blue ones. Okay, and I have one more little bag of stuff, I think. Okay, I got um, like jelly bean, uh, the cool beans buttons, and um, which ones are these? One of them is a Christmas one, and yeah, this one's Orchard. And then this one is Christmas.
And they kind of look really similar, actually, and stuff. There's a couple that are the same in there, but that's no big deal. I'm sure I will use some buttons and brads I can't get enough of. And then I ordered a few of these little bags. I thought these would be cute on a little album. I got the gray and the orange. And then um, I want to make, like, little invitations next year to our Halloween party. We always have like a um, costume party and everything. And so this will be really cute to invite you to a Monster Mash. And I got this one because I really just got it for the coffin and stuff for in a mini album to stamp on tags and stuff. So and then I got a couple of these because I thought they would be cute as like the center of cards or something, and I got two of the flower ones. And then I also ordered the 6x6 um, Fiddlesticks pad from the Miss Caroline collection from my mind's eye. I know I keep talking about it, but um, they forgot it in my order. They accidentally sent me one sheet of 12x12 um, 12 12 paper from that collection instead of the 6x6. So, uh, anyway, I get the they said I could keep it, obviously, because I can't send it back, really. Um, it's the story paper from Farmhouse. I love the wood grains on this. So, you guys have all seen that. Um, I think that's it for my haul today. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, um, I forgot it, but I also ordered some distress stains from Blitzy ordered like 10 different ones of them. I've never used them before. I don't have any. So I'm going to try those out. Maybe I'll make a video about it or something. But um, I'm going to post my link to my Blitzy um, account down there. Um, so if you have not ever been on Blitzy, it's a like discount scrapbooking supplies and they have all kinds of stuff and they post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, some new things like four or five things uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and um, if you sign up through my link below um, I'll get like blitzy credits and stuff and um, you know once you join then you can put yours at the bottom of your videos or whatever and uh, then you can end up you know getting free stuff because once you build up credits, you can buy stuff for free on there. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I will try to get my mini album that I was working on, a video of it, up for you, Nurse Laurel. So, um, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Bye.